This is our weekly Go Battle League short compilation. If you're not able to catch all the regular videos throughout the week, we have them here lumped into one big video. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. All right, this is my Alolan Golem finally in action. We're going to be leading against a Shadow Lapras, and with that said, we're going to just start with the rollout action, build up some energy while we just try to catch these Surfs. They're going to go for Surf number one. We're going to shield it because obviously that'll knock out my Golem in one hit when it's Shadow Powered like that. They switched out to a Shadow Machamp very predictably so because they were going to catch my Rock Blast, which they did. So I went ahead and followed up with a Wild Charge and then brought out my Meganium because I figured might as well use the Meganium so that I don't have to worry about going up against a Shadow Lapras with it. So we're going to get our health into the red, we're going to shield, they're going to follow up with like uh, two cross chops, we shield them both, burn both of our shields. Actually, no, we took one cross shop and then shielded the other because we used the other one on Surf. And then after that, we just used the uh, Frenzy Plant to take out the Machamp and in comes Lapras to finish off the Meganium. We're going to bring in Golem to go ahead and go for a Rock Blast. That Rock Blast is going to connect with a shield. And then after that, that should be enough to take me out. I'm not going to bother trying to charge up towards another move because I'm just going to get knocked out anyway by Ice Shard damage. So we bring in Polyrath to finish up the Lapras. Over farm as much as we can here. They go for a surf, does negligible damage, so we just figured might as well just go for a fully charged uh, Polyrath. So we go for Dynamic Punch number one, knocks that out. Now we're going up against uh, Frost Last. So this is where we gotta hurry up and get two Scalds off. We get first one launched, and we get two before they can get to a Shadow Ball because that's what they need to take us out. And the answer is yes, we win. All right, do the social. I finally hashed a female Salanda and I built a team around it. So we're going to have Daydenny in the front. Um, you'll see later when I do a full length video that I switched it out for something better. But either way, Daydenny was doing good, but at the same time, like it wasn't the best fit for this team. So we swapped it out. There's the Marowak. We were very skeptical about wanting to swap out just because we know that typically when we swap it's going to be a counter into the switch in so we just let Daydenny go down and we took brought in Alola Mola and then after that uh, they brought in Amanda Buzz so we swapped over to Salazzle. They go for the foul play, we fire off a fire blast here and then look at how much damage it's about to do. This is why they say it's a glass cannon, it just knocked down Amanda Buzz with a couple incinerates and a fire blast anyway in comes wish cash they farm us down the wish cash is just gonna go ahead and go for a mud bomb spam because it can't exactly use a blizzard on an aloma moma 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 mola go ahead and scream in the comments that i can't pronounce it right it's mainly just a troll anyway uh they're going to keep spamming mud bomb we just try to farm down as much as we can go for a couple waterfalls here and then try to preserve our shield as much as we can but now we're gonna have to start burning them and then save uh any sort of like psychic or waterfall for the marowak on the switch end so in comes another mud bomb we are out of shields we're trying to get to the very end but we fully charge and i know that one more mud bomb was coming if i didn't fire off a psychic now so i just let loose and then after that we try to farm up towards another psychic and they were able to get a charge move, but is it enough to knock us out? No, we win by a tiny sliver. So we fire off the Psychic, they're probably raging, and we're going to walk away with uh, another victory. This team was by far my favorite Great League Remix team that I used on this rotation. But with this one, we're going for a bulky Mag Cargo lead against an Orangaroo. We're going to anticipate some sort of a switch just because once we get the Rock Tomb on, they're going to most likely want to swap because I can just whittle down this Orangaroo with Mag Cargo alone. We get the second Rock Tomb, they're minus two in attack, and it looks like they're committing to staying in. We can finally go for a third, yep, third Rock Tomb, there we go. They burn all their shields here, I don't know why they did that. I think this person, well, I mean, we're still climbing rating, so we're probably just dealing with the random people that don't know how to battle correctly. In comes the Dragalge, and since this, all I have is a Sylveon to answer to it, shiny one at that. We're gonna do the charm down, farm down, but it looks like we have to be conscious here and go for a Psy Shock. I just kind of panicked when I went for the Psy Shock. Yes, I could have done two more charms and farm down and save the Psy Shock for the switch in, but deal with it. We did it that way. Anyway, we farm down with charm. In comes a Marowak. We fire off one more Psy Shock before we let Sylveon go down. And let's see. Actually, I think I'm gonna go for an over farm here. Yep, they went for an over farm. Down goes Sylveon. And then we're going to bring in Victory Bell here just to catch an attack. And in comes the Fire Blast. Did not see that coming, but either way, I didn't really need Victory Bell. I just needed to take an attack so that we can bring in Mag Cargo to fire off the Rock Tomb for the victory. All right, it's been a while since I used any of these Pokemon, so it's time for me to just uh, 
wipe out the dust and get going. So it's a Registeel leading against a Raichu. The Raichu is going to obviously charge up towards a wild charge, but I have to be mindful of any brick break. I just learned to shield the first one just because they predictably go for it. And then that way I can also keep my uh, Registeel in for a couple more rounds. They switch over to the Lucario just to start ramping up and then they're going to most likely go for a power up punch here. It does go through and so since I know that he's now going to commit, where they're going to get a Grand Bowl switch in, go for another power up punch and I'm just going to farm down with Charm. And look at that, I just have a little bit of health left, just enough to do some damage, but I couldn't charge up towards a crunch to let loose onto the slow bro, but either way, we could bring in Registeel back here, go for another Zap Cannon onto the slow bro, get a minus one in attack, force on the switch, and then also bring in their Raichu. So since I just figured that it's not a good reason to keep Registeel anymore, I just save my shield for Whiskash to go in and clean up, since I know that if I can keep throwing the Mud Bombs, it should be enough to win the match. They go for a Wild Charge, like pretty much puts it in the yellow, can let the next uh, attack go through, but it's a Brick Break. We have fully charged energy here, so we're going to unleash the first Mud Bomb to wipe out the Raichu. They're going to go for a con uh, Psychic, yeah, Psychic on the switch in. But since we over farmed in advance, we have enough Mud Bombs to let loose. So here comes the first one, puts it in the yellow, go for the second one, that should put it in the red. So goes in comes the second Mud Bomb, puts it in the red, and we wow. win. Victory Bell left no survivors in this battle. Alright, so we're going to be leading with Incineroar against a Whiskash. Not the best lead, so I have to now work for this victory. We're going to go ahead and switch over to Sylveon, expecting the counter to come in, which of course is a Golbat. So now we just need to do as much damage as we can and then just farm this thing down, go for a Psy Shock, force a shield so that that way we can just bring in something that can actually put some damage into this other team. Getting closer to Sylveon fainting, we're in the red now, they over farm as I would expect them to because I mean that's what you would do if you pretty much have your opponent on the ropes. Speaking of on the ropes, in comes Incineroar, we go for a Poison Fang 1 to here, actually they do with the Golbat, and then we're just going to go ahead and take both, with well, the first one. Not the, yeah, we choose to shield the second one. We fire off one Dark Pulse here, just to get some damage rolling in, force a shield, possibly force it to faint, but since we're in a good spot, we're just gonna let them go ahead and take out our Incineroar, and then this is where Victor Bell does some magic. In comes the Wish Cash for the switch in, and then we just rip it to shreds with a Razor Leaf, just to take one Razor Leaf and then roll over and faint. And then after that, we bring in the Pelipper, finished off with Leaf Blade in red. Right, I made a promise to myself not to use Mega Gyarados when the Mega Cup was in rotation because I wanted to challenge myself instead of use the easy mode thing that everyone used. So now this is my team going up with a Gengar build. We have Mega Gengar, Shiny I might ask. Um, it's actually the Halloween one from I believe 2020, 2021. You can double check me on that. But anyway, we're going up against a Melmetal. We just bait as much as we can. We went for a fully charged Shadow Ball and then baited them with a Shadow Punch, followed up with a Shadow Ball, and then after that, they bring in Gyarados, so we're just going to go ahead and just sacrifice the Gengar because we don't want to get locked into anything um, unfavorable on the switch in. They have no shields, we have two, so we bring in Zarud because it's going to be able to tank Crunch and Aqua Tail. The only damage it's going to take heavy is, like, Crunch, or, sorry, Dragon Breath, so they bring in kiss and I just thought, oh god, this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> so we go for the uh, Stone Edge, nearly knocks it out, puts it into the red, and then we're just really working for this win here. So after that, we fire off a Power Whip, boom, connects. Now next up is going to be the Gyarados, and we're going to shield this right here, followed up with the Aqua Tail being consumed, and then finally we go with a Power Whip to finish this match, and that's a W.